it was very important for John to make a, a like a, a, a film, a family film, a family holiday film that would last forever. And he really harkened back to the Rankin and Bass. He felt that that really kind of epitomized the holiday spirit. So he wanted to bring that world of stop motion into uh, Elf. Uh, so we worked with him trying to duplicate the style and everything. And I think he was very smart, very wise and bringing in that nostalgia, uh, reminding us what it was like to spend Christmas with our family when we were young by incorporating that stop motion sequence at the top of the picture. It really introduced the whole world, the whole concept of Buddy as an elf um, to, a, to a family holiday picture. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, really good. Emotion was key. Yeah, and, and so much, you know, the, the Rankin and Bass, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer style was so important to them. They went, actually went out and licensed the look so they could duplicate the costume stylings, the, you know, and be in a safe territory to really play, um, not parody it at all, but really uh, um, homage, a lovingly um, homage to that, with the specials that we all grew up on. Yeah, uh, and and what's really cool about it was we had done stop motion special effects before, but this is the first time we we're ever going to have one of our stop motion characters actually work with the key lead actor, the star of the show. So mm -hmm. when Leon the Snowman is talking to Buddy, the elf, Will Ferrell, it was something that we knew couldn't be cut out of the picture because this was essential. Mm -hmm.